Movement is how you play dynamics, how you play fast. It's how you groove. It's what happens between every note you play, no matter how small. The way you move determines how easy it is to get around the kit, how fast you can play, and how much power you can get out of the drums. On a smaller scale, the way you move your sticks for every stroke affects your timing, your dynamics, your consistency, and how in control you are of all of these things. That's what I'm here for today. I wanna to give you the tools not just to be good at the drums, but to be in control over everything you play so that each individual note is as good as the last and you are in total control over what you say on the instrument. Controlling your stick height is a really powerful way to gain control over your movements. Starting and stopping your stick at the exact same point with every stroke means that your dynamics are gonna be completely consistent. What I do is I hold my stick completely vertical and I put my other stick behind it. I don't let them hit at all. Without winding my hand back first, it means that I'm always starting at the exact same point. I'm allowing the stick to rebound fully to the same point and listening very carefully to make sure that the volume is the same with every stroke. I'm also aiming for the center of the pad or the drum with every stroke here. Even though I like to play all over the drums for different sounds, when I'm practicing, I wanna develop complete accuracy over where I hit the drum. So I always aim for the same spot. To practice my dynamic consistency with smaller movements, I lift both hands up to the same height, let's say half of the height that we were previously at, and I keep that as my reference point. I make sure not to wind my hand up first, not to lift it at all. It only goes down and rebounds up. The other stick stays there as a reference point so that I can see exactly where my sticks are starting and stopping. Pay attention to your movements when you're practicing accents as well. When you're practicing paradiddles, you can prepare for your accents ahead of time during the doubles with the opposite hand. When I'm practicing those paradiddles, I pay attention to my stick height for both the accents and the non-accented notes. I want every non-accented note to be about an inch off of the drummer pad. Not that that's a rule when I'm playing, but I want to develop control over those strokes so that I can control the movement of the stick between every hit and make it consistent. Preparing for this accents during the doubles means that you're gonna be able to play the accents at much faster speeds and be ready for them ahead of time. Preparation is really key here. Those motions, preparing for the accents during your paradiddles, that's something that you can apply to orchestrating on the kit as well. This is really fun because it means that you have time at high speeds to reach over to the other side of the kit and crash or hit a tom at very fast speeds. The next thing you can do is click on this video to learn all about playing your fills more ergonomically. So you're going to be flying around the kit, playing more efficiently, and playing paradiddles and other stickings in new creative ways that you haven't thought of before. So I'll see you over there.